Now, as I mentioned, the Queen's Baton Relay has preceded every Commonwealth Games for over 50 years. Not surprisingly then, it's steadily grown in scale and ambition over the years, and the Delhi Relay promises to be one of the longest and most inclusive in history. And this, if you can see this, ladies and gentlemen behind me, this is what it's all about today. The Queen's Baton at Delhi 2010. Now, the baton's design has drawn inspiration from both the essence and physicality of India and blends both technological and organic elements to create something really quite unique. It's a fusion of handcrafted elements, precision engineering and ornamentation. It's been coated, as you can see, with these wonderful ribbons of coloured soils collected literally from all corners of India. And it's this remarkable interweaving of white sands, deep reds, warm yellows and beautiful browns that gives it such a distinctive look. At the top of this baton, there's a precious jewellery box. Now this is where the Queen's message to the athletes will be placed. For the first time, laser micro calligraphy has been used. That sounds super technical, doesn't it? I don't know what that means, but now you know what it means. It is laser micro calligraphy that's been used to engrave the Queen's message onto a miniature 18 carat gold leaf representation of the ancient Indian Patra leaf. Well, not long to go now before, before the Queen inserts that message to the athletes of the Commonwealth into the baton.